Hello, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV. Last episode we did. Side quests. More side quests today. Just keep. It's gonna never. Just. Yep. Just constant side quests. Do you like money? <laughs> sure you do. Work with me to capture the Foper over by the watering hole and we'll be swimming in coins, my friend. I'll explain the why for that afterwards, but you need to take that walking eyeball alive. As for the how, I've got the perfect tool for the job. Here, take this. The darts that come with that blowpipe are coated with poison. Not lethal, of course. But you pop one of those into the Foper and it'll be twitching on the ground within moments. Easy, eh? Head over to the watering hole and find a spot where you can snipe the critter from a safe distance. Trust me, you don't want to get too close. Once the Foper's down for the count, scoop it up in a sack or something and bring it back to me. Some risk involved, to be sure, but I promise you'll be paid for your trouble. Well now, those look like nice strong hands. Not afraid to get them dirty, are you? I only ask because the trees around here could use some attention. The roots have begun to rot, and if not is done, we stand to lose the only large vegetation for miles. There is a way to save them, though. I need you to head to the watering hole to the southwest and find a couple of moslings to hack apart. Gather what's left of them and then bury the clumps in between the roots of the trees that grow near the water. That's your tutor trick. <laughs> Damn, I missed. Oh, I missed! You there, you seem capable. Experience with weapons, are you? What about the explosive kind? I have a friend who has uncovered a cache of Imperial grenades, but neither of us has the slightest idea of how to use them. And you need to know your merchandise if you mean to get the press price. My acquaintance is over at Specula Imperatoris right at this moment, experimenting with the ordinance. I beg you, please go and give him a hand before he loses both of his. Before he loses both of his. Both of his nuts, got him. God damn, it's all fall through without the goods. How am I supposed to get there and back without... Bloody hells, where'd you spring from? Bah, never mind that. Can you keep your mouth shut, lass? I have a package hidden away over in Specula Imperatoris, and I need someone discreet to go and fetch it for me. Don't let it size dissuade you, the thing's as light as air. I'd head over there myself, you know, but if folks were to spot me, it would cause complications for future dealings. Well, go on, there's a warning for you. My god, all these people are very, um, as the scientific term, uh, sus. Oh, hello there. Dobson, an expert to look at my grenades, did he? I was about to start lobbing them at these crates there. But it might be best if you showed me how it's done. It says here on, ca uh, on the case that these are a Mark something model. Whatever that might be. Not for it, but to try them out, eh? I'll wager you could blow up several crates at once if you threw the one just right. I know. I've used them before. Developed in the 42nd year of the first Guardian Emperor's reign. These grenades are designed to be hand-thrown by infantry. Boom! Well, I just watched this wrath. That was impressive. In fact, those Imperial beauties might be powerful enough to blow a few other things to pieces. Come with me to the backside of the base. I have something else I want you to test these grenades on. You see this war machina? They're too broken for battle, but the individual pieces will fetch a decent purse on the right market. The only problem is the thing the things are still too damn sturdy to take apart without special tools. Well, I'd say a grenade counts as a special tool. Here. I have a new case. Let's see those war machina bit fly. Wait, is it still the same stuff? Yes. Um I guess this should work. Nice. Nice done. Now I've learned proper grenade use. Uh, uh, now I've learned proper grenade uses, and we have a pile of parts to sell. Two birds with one explosion. Now both the weapons and the war magnet pieces should earn us a tidy sum. Assuming you can find a discerning customer. 
Speaking of which, I best take back any grenades you didn't throw. Where did you learn how to use Imperial weaponry anyway? Head back to Darwin. He'll reward you for sharing your expertise. Thanks again. How oh, indeed. We go to Alagiri and fly over there. I like how there's an area called the Bull's Bath. Because, <laughs> you know, this is Roban's hometown, and apparently he took a bath in there. <laughs> the Bull's Bath. It was his, it was his bathing ground. There you are. My nerves have had me up and walking all over waiting for you to get back. So, did you get the package? A non good package addressed to Beretha of Cold Hearth. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There's a seat in here. And a note. It says these are date palm... Uh, uh, date... Date palm seeds from Gardamalt and they grow even in soil as barren as ours. May the fruit of these trees bring you health and happiness always. Oh, that boy of mine. I have to tell the others. There's planning to be done. Hello there. So the package made it here safely. You've done well then. Forgive me. The name's Erard. Though you probably already knew that. Water always did have a gift for finding good help. I'm sure I have a lot of questions. Hopefully I can clear things up. As you likely know, I've been working undercover in a Guardian army as a member of the Skulls. Provided the resistance with intelligence and if the situation presents itself, swayed battles in their favour. At the Battle of Castellum Veladina, for instance, I urged my superiors to speak with Ferdola and convince her it would be in her best interest to retreat. I believe you were there as well, yes? Sadly, it was not always so easy as whispering a few words, a few choice words into the right ear. If I was to convince them of my loyalty, I had to follow all orders, no matter how horrible. I've cut down more than my fair share of friends and countrymen. Convince myself was for the greater good, for the resistance. I still believe that, but I know full well there are those who will never forgive the things I've done. I've thought better, I, I thought it better they believe I died in battle. And with Erard gone, it's time for me to move on. What will I do now? Well, this war is far from over, but I cannot continue my fight here. No, I will assume a new identity and find another land which people long to be free from Guardian's grasp. I will miss this place. Thankfully, it's in good hands now. Very well, then. My next meet, I look forward to fighting with you on the same side of the battlefield. Hmm. Okay. Should have seen the look of it on everyone's faces. I practically snatched the seeds out of my hands. Funny how art could be here to help us plant them. Something the matter? You're not still worrying about me, are you? I promise you I'm fine. You've forgiven me so much. I wish I knew how to thank you. Tell you what, when these palms uh, get to growing, you can have all the dates you can eat. Or dates, I guess. Dates, doubt, whatever. Speaking of which, best be going. Those seeds won't plant themselves. You take care now. Yeah, no. I'm gonna respect that man's decision. <laughs> Ah, it's you. Thanks for helping me, Bertha. I was actually hoping to talk to you about her. You see, she's been acting strange again. She's always been stubborn about keeping troubles to herself. But I'm sure she'll talk to you. Do you mind checking on her? <laughs> oh, man. There's too much work to go around. At this rate, it'll take at least five years to... <laughs> Goodness, you scared me. What are you doing here? Worried about me, are they? I keep telling them I'm fine, but they don't listen. Since you're here, though, I could do with some help from a brave young adventurer like yourself. I've been meaning to thank Jedidia Lani for holding onto those seats for all of us. Uh, for us all that, all that time. I need someone to take me to Valagiri. To be honest, I've never travelled very far from Cold Hearth. The others could take me, but I feel much safer in the company of someone used to brave in the wilds. Are you up for taking me on a little adventure? Glad to hear it. That'll be needing any back, so let's go ahead and get going. All right.
Mossified. Mossified muscling. <laughs> wow. What a name. Eat shit. Motherfucker. Let's see. I'm looking for the Fauper. There you are. Shoot him! Right in the eye. What is this, a Zelda game? <laughs> Which remains of a massive fight, must I? <laughs> I love games so much. I love this feature. It is. There we go. Bertha is, of course, going to get attacked by something. Let me show you guys something really cool. Star Diver! <laughs> I love that move. Bee. Are they gone? Goodness gracious. There's stories of savage monsters out here, but to see them up close? I had no idea. So if you weren't there, if you weren't here, I'd be telling Erard about my first and last trip to Alami uh, to Alagir right about now. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm ready to keep going. Oh, to get a little bladder. A feebly twitching fopper in a sack. It's in the. It's in there. It's actually in there. All right, calm down, hero. You have any idea how much fopper tears are worth to an alchemist? Then we've captured ourselves a live fopper. We can harvest them whenever we die, well, please. Just a quick whack on a ten and outpours liquid gold. We'll be sinking rich. Be stinking rich. No, just so stop it from turning its eye on, uh, eye on me. Well, you see, I. Hmm. Or maybe I could tie. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. You know what? I didn't really think this through. But yes, yeah, when it wakes up, I'll have an angry fopper in a sack. Better put it back where it came from. <laughs> These people are really stupid. All finished then? There's a certain mold which afflicts the tree roots, see? And some property of that mossling works to kill that mold off. I really know how the, the know, know how or why it works. But the trees are hardly uh, are hardy enough to recover from the damage. Thank you, friend. With all the other troubles besieging the land, it's hard to find anyone to care about a few scraggly trees. But I think they could teach us all a thing or two about survival. Friend stopped by and told me how the tester went, so thank you for keeping him safe. Not entirely comfortable around Imperial Ordnance, to be honest. He spent years slaving in a cast and workshop, loading gunpowder into cannons, shells, and the like. Felt as if every bullet I filled was another countryman I helped kill. The guilt grew so strong that I almost cast myself off a cliff. But my fear of death was a stronger, like a coward. Throws moldy heels of bread over the lives of my fellows. In the end, I decided that I'd spite to the Empire by living out my wretched life and profit of the very same weapons I helped built. I'll be a damn weed thriving on the rocky slopes of Girabania. Well, did you bring the goods? Despite its bulky size, this package is surprisingly light. Alright, that's the stuff. You've done this sort of thing before, eh? I see what you're thinking. What's in this big, uh, big pack as that weighs next to knots? Well... I better satisfy your curiosity before you start asking questions to the wrong people. It's tobacco, my friend. Made right here in Radiata. It used to be a porter for the Imperials. You see, cast, uh, a carting supplies all around all day until my back was screaming. 
the uh, officer, the officers would complain about their military issue pipe weed, so I started earning myself a few small luxuries by smuggling in Radiata's best, on a quiet, of course. I'd appreciate if you keep, if you could keep quiet too. I mean, to sell, the, to sell to the resistance forces next. And you best not know about my previous customers. Is the reward I promised you? Half for the job, and I have to keep your lips sealed. Understand? For the love of God. Hi, oh, my tight li ah, my tight lipped friend. Really having a tobacco for me really helped me out, but I have another favor to ask if you're willing. You know where the Jamal is, don't you? Not tall leaf eaters, long necks. Look around, and you can probably spot one now. Seems docile enough, I, but a kick from one of those massive flex will send some ordinary folks sailing into the nether realm. And I consider myself fairly ordinary. You, on the other hand, seem the type who can shrug off a hoof or two in the face. You think you could take down some of those towering beastkin and gather me three of their hides? <laughs> And we just keep going, and we just keep going, and we just keep going. Pressing a lot of buttons are not the correct one. Okay. Don't you get yourself trampled then? Let's have a look at what you've got. The rough hide of a jammer. Ah, now these are some high quality heights. Once I've cleaned and cured them, I can craft them into armor for the resistance troops. When I wasn't busy lugging things around, the audience would send me to the factory and make me sew their unnatural fibers into uniforms. Now at least I can put those skills to use with my countrymen instead. Next to you, I'm almost ready to stand on my own two feet. You'll still be in town for a little while yet, won't you? Uh, no. <laughs> that was actually the final thing I need to do in this town. <laughs> Bye. Speculating territories. Even from home, I could always see that damned spire looming over everything. It's not going anywhere without the Guardian say so. Not that I had anywhere to go, mind. Now that I find that you do, though, no, I'm glad we're rid of them. Eat big or go home. Breakneck dice man cometh. Child's plague. Moth to a flame. Like a moth to a flame. I can't rightly say I've ever been so nervous walking through a big lot of nothing. I was half expecting one of them soldiers to jump out at me. And Eric was brave enough to pass through while they were still there. Or while they were still here. What was that boy thinking? In any case, we're halfway there. Hope my legs don't give out before then. Time for me to pollute the air with this fucking... Thing. A little further in. Ah, oh, not again. Ignoble Griffin. I cannot believe how ignoble you are. Start as a star diver. Boom. So cool. The best fucking skill in the game. I'm not sure how much more adventure I, my heart can take. Is it always so dangerous out here? I was supposed it was worth it though. You ever seen a town so beautiful? The city's ten times the, si the size? How gullible do you think I am? Now, let's go and see this Gi 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 Giolani. Then good to see you. How is everything? The mother of that skull soldier. According to my son's letter, I have to you to thank for keeping uh, his gift safe all this time. It's not only proper I come show my appreciation in person. 
Now we can finally put that barren soil of ours to some use. Think nothing of it. I'm just relieved to know it, it reached you safely. Then what brings you to Alagiri? Thanks to Brazen Brook and testimony from the good people here, I was pardoned by the Alliance leaders. They're still keeping me under close watch, of course. Can't say that I blame them. For now, Wydery Wyd has been gracious enough to offer me room and board. Speaking of which, we've run into something of a problem. Just hoping to get your thoughts on the matter. Alagiri was once famous for a particular type of spirit, Arak. Sadly, the ingredients needed to make it have grown increasingly scarce. Stores of the stuff were promptly depleted when the Guardians took control here, but the soldiers were so taken with it they began shipping in ingredients directly from Gardamald. Needless to say, when they left, so too did the supplies we need to make more. It would not do well for Alagir to be without its local specialty when trade begins booming again. We have searched everywhere, but all the date palms native to this area have been cut down, and the soil is unfit for replanting. Do you know of any places where this plant still grows? Is something the matter? May need dates for the spill and the and spirits. Now hold on a minute. We haven't even ready the pots for planting. It'll take some time and hands we don't have we don't even have. Perhaps we can make an arrangement. Certain people of Alagir would be more than willing to help in exchange for a small share of the resulting pro produce. Might I accompany you home to better assess the situation? Why of course. We can use all the help we can get. First the seeds, and now this. You're a miracle worker. If there ever was one, I won't be forgetting what you've done for us. Nin worry, Lin. I will see it. I will see to it. No harm comes to her. Until next time. I mean, guess I have to go back over there? No, okay. It's not amazing me how you make good of even the most dire circumstances. It's not that Rogger smiles upon you. It will take a lot of work, to be sure, but in a few years' time, traders from all over will be talking about the famous brew from Malagiri and Koldars. I better get going. We'll need to be ready when Bot returns. Take care, then. And is that finally it? Yes, that is finally it. Did you look at that? Believe it or not, we are fucking done with the quests and the pigs. Christ, that was a lot more than I expected. And now we have the locks. Which don't seem to have that many quests, but who knows. Ah, Captain Adair, how fortunate to meet a hero of your standing in these trying times. Will you be staying long? If so, I would beg your assistance with a ma certain matter. A matter which you, as a veteran of conflict, the Empire would be uniquely suited to resolve. Allow me to explain. Our scouts have been attempting to secure the plateaus to the northeast, but were forced to withdraw when they encountered several units of hostile war machina. A parting gift from the Imperial Army, I assume. It would seem these unmanned contraptions were commanded to greet any who strayed too far to certain key points with lethal force. In any case, our scouts have set up a post nearby to keep the Machina under observation. Now, I have it in good authority that you have amassed considerable experience in dealing with such foes. If you have the time to spare, the flame officer at the observation post would be most grateful to have your destructive expertise at his disposal. You are the one who gained the favor of Lord Drillmont. Would you be so kind as to lend me your assistance? I am Pamisoyo. Pa Pamisoyo. A Chirurgeon dispatched from Whitebrim Front. This war, no matter how well it waged, uh, continued, continued to send an endless line of wounded to my station. Thus, no matter how many supplies are brought in, I continue to work through my stock at an alarming rate. I sought to resupply myself by drawing on the resources naturally available in the region, and a renowned soldier such as you which could certainly expedite the process. Your resistance fighters tell me of the gigantic frogs that inhabit the land to the south. Abaddons, I believe they are called. Would you think it possible to slay several of these creatures and bring me four lengths of their attendance? Four? What an accursed number. You are the strider who slew, lack, uh, str who slew is to relax me. Would you hear my humble request? I have heard tales of the cloud kin known as peasants. Pheasants. And I desire to claim some of... Some few as if of its feathers. Alas, I am ordered to hold this position, and so I shall. My sister who patrols the mountain paths speak of beautiful winged creatures soaring through the, through the air above their root. Perhaps the feathers I seek might be found fallen here and there. Please, Strider, venture this venture to this high place for your people call the Royal Hunting Grounds, and gather all the pheasant feathers you can. 
Me and the boys at 3 a.m. looking for a pheasant. Captain Nader, if a mission that requires your immediate attention. As uh, a squad I dispatched to secure a watchtower to the south of here has sent an urgent request for reinforcements. The structure seemed abandoned, seemed abandoned according to our scouts, and I thought the few men I sent would suffice for the task. It appears I was wrong. They were ambushed by a superior force. My remaining soldiers, uh, soldiers have left on other duties, and I fear the watchtower squad may not survive until the rest of our company can reach them. You may be their only hope. Pray, make haste to soft watch and rendezvous with our resistance fighters there. Alright, got a lot of different stuff to go to and do. Of course, all quests in different corners of the map. Let's see, they'll be there. One, two, three, four. So that's that over there. This is the pheasant thing. It's that. Okay. I can count. Yeah, I thought it was five for some kind of reason. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> God dang it. I want to get all the, uh, the locations to while I'm here. While I'm flying around, I may as well get the full map for my own satisfaction. And the satisfaction of a viewer or two. Because that's the amount of views I have for videos. <laughs> well, people who last like this long into my videos, they are quite, uh, quite the champions. Or they're crazy. According to, <laughs> if you ask YouTube, they're just crazy. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. So there's one more around here somewhere. There we go. Give me that pheasant feather. Right. Let's go into the tomb of King Manfred. The Song of Kings. This is such a cool area that it gets used for, other than a quest or two, fucking nothing. What a waste. What an absolute flicking, flicking, <laughs> flipping waste. Uh, okay, there's still something to north. I also like how the music just cuts out when you go in here. It's the silence of the dead. Um, I need to go up there. Oh, <laughs> there's a hole in here. What in the heck is this? A Balathia skull. This seems like a, a location that you need to go to for gathering something. With the trees and all that jazz. And back into the silence. Ah. This game is so nice. <laughs> Hello, flame officer. Captain Nader, Captain Denton will send word that reinforcements were on the way, but I did not expect... As you can see, we've managed to capture some of the enemy's magic armor. After a bit of practice, we intended to employ them in the destruction, uh, in the destruction of those entrenched war machina. I am, however, more than glad to surrender the role of pilot to one of your indisputable qualifications. Shall we review the targets? The enemy war machina are concentrated in three separate locations, and the mission requires that all hostile forces be eliminated. I'll mark locations on the map. Here, here, and here. The armor is yours to command. Good luck, Captain. Alright, so what do we have? We have Magitek Thunder and Magitek Pulse. Okay. Well, off we go then. We can't fly, of course. And I feel like mount speed is also. Like normal. Like not increased mind speed.
That's it. Because this is just a laser, yeah. And this is a stun thing. Yeah. I remember. How does this work? In a straight line before you. Okay, yeah. You know the funniest thing? I could kill these things much faster with, uh, with just doing my normal DPS rotations. Oh well. Really? Die. Bruh. Ha! <laughs> that laser is useless. It's like a line in front of you. Yeah, uh-huh. Sure. So the hostile buttons. Make the card games. Man, I hate that. <laughs> I hate the fact that this like laser is just useless. Maybe, maybe like try to aim for the guy in the back and see if the guy in front gets hit. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> the range of that is just horrible. It's absolutely, absolutely terrible. Now I'm understanding why the Guardians are so bad when piloting their freaking magic tech. It's because it's just bad. I mean, nah. The, the stuff in the Praetorium is just pretty good. Just this uh, type of magic tech armor is just ass. Why is it always 0.1%? These enemies will kind of like gather up a little bit. There we go. Even my Dragoon AoE is better <laughs> than this fucking laser. There we go. Bruh. Ah. Sure hope you were looking for this kind of gameplay. Actually, I think anybody watching this was not looking for gameplay, just for background noise, aka me. <laughs> that is, after all, what I am known for. Good background noise. Jesus. Well, that was uh, quite something. Now that, like, now that I've done this, I do remember doing this quest. <laughs> I do remember this quest. Usually, like, when I remember needing to do something, a lot of the time it is something very tedious. That was incredible. We could see the blast of light from here. That is to say, fine work there, Captain. It was an honor to see you in action, ma'am. We'll be packing up and heading uh, heading back to base soon. But I'd appreciate it if you could make an advance report to Captain Dantunel. 
Anton as well. Whatever. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. Foul bachelor prog frogmander. Tell us a tale. Dude, where's Makario? The smell that leeched her heart. Maceless running. Man. Time to kill some frogs. Four of them to be precise. Baby, right round, right round. Okay. Then perish. Screw using the normal rights on this mountain. I'm flying. Aren't you one of the signs of the seventh dawn? My Roger, if sent us a bloody warrior of light for details. I should probably tell you what happened. The tower looked empty, as we were told it would be, but we barely made it to the top of the stairs. Some thing appeared out of thin air and attacked us. Maybe several things. I was just flailing my axe behind me. Hoping to discourage whatever it was I pushed the wounded uh, whatever it was while I pushed the wounded uh, ahead. Ahead of me back down the stairwell. Suppose you'll be going up there to deal with the ambushers then. If you don't mind, I'll stand guard here and look over my comrades' injuries. What incarnation? Oh, hello. Hello there. Slash look out. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my god! Ah, sounds like Druva said thus. I'm gonna get a good look at them myself, but I'm glad I don't longer need to. Yeah, first thanks. A few bandages, uh, a few bandages have uh, have seen my fellows right, so we should be able to finish up here. Please report. Uh, please pass on my report to Captain Topher. Let's just go ahead and get the rest of the map. <laughs> And I will see if these are truly all the quests in here, or <laughs> if there is going to be yet more. We are no longer in danger, then. Thank you for rushing to the raid, Captain. <gasps> these uh, drovers you encountered. No one is certain how they came about. 
At once he describes him as a manner of naturally occurring golem crystals that have spontaneously shaped themselves into monstrous forms. They appear and act like living beings, but have no intelligence, no intelligence to speak of. All we know is that Drubas are drawn to other creatures in a relentless hunt for ether. Garabanians have learned to loathe and fear them. They used to hire mercenaries to clear out the worst of such nightmares, but they would see the Imperials neglected even that even that simple task. They care not what befalls the citizens of their conquered provinces. I will take news of this incident to my superiors, and see that any potential Druvas, Dru, uh, Druva haunts are properly scouted in the future. Again, you have my thanks. Did you find the feathers I sought? Resilient to that supple feather of a pheasant. Yes, they are more beautiful than I imagined. The resistance fighters I spoke with say the hunting grounds were maintained for the pleasure of the Alamegan royal family. They say peasants were sent as gifts of the noble, uh, of the, uh, from the nobles of other lands and allowed to breed for the purposes of hunting stock. Of uh, hunting stock. Pheasant feathers being resilient yet supple, were prized as fletching and used to make arrows of the highest quality. As such, it seems they were hunted to such an extent that the once prolific, prolific creatures became a rarity. I do not care to kill when it is not needed. But if the feathers have already fallen, then I see no reason to waste them. Thank you, Slayer of Sir Lakshmi. I shall soon have new arrows for my bow. Did the Abaddons pose you any challenge? The rubbery tenant of an Abaddon. Yes, yes, this should do quite nicely. See how rubbery the tenons are? They should stretch far without snapping, making them perfect for keeping bandages in place or strapping on wooden limb replacements. These guardians developed many techniques for emergency field procedures during the centuries of the Dragon Sun War. No, it says much of our history that we were pressed to invent such treatments. The healer will always do what he must to save the life expiring before him. It is a calling I could not ignore. My apologies, I did not intend to delay you with my ramblings. I thank you for your help. Captain Adair, no need for the details. Your presence here alone is sufficient proof that the mission went as planned. Your cooperation was a most welcome development. If only we had more soldiers with your experience. Simply clearing away this war machina has given us no end of trouble, and we have no way of knowing how many of the things yet remain. But such is the reality of war. Winning battles is merely the first step. It is the mopping up of problems in the aftermath that can prove the most difficult challenge. Thank you again for your aid, Captain Adair. Oh, hey! Questage doneth. Um, I think for the sake of not really wanting to start a new area right now, I'm going to end off of you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Start Was Playing Final Fantasy XIV. And next episode, we're going to go and start with the quests in Kugade. Which means running around in a town for half an hour. Or an hour. Goodbye.